Okay, it's Jeff back again with another short answer question. Let's spend a few minutes thinking about an eight mark question on sterling depreciation. So here's a bit of extract for you. The sterling exchange rate index measures the value of sterling against a basket of currencies. So not just one currency, but a whole combination. And that's a trade weighted index. So the index is calculated based on currencies relative importance in trade. So, for example, the dollar and the euro form the bulk of that um, of that index because that's with the areas, the regions with which we do most trade. The sterling exchange rate index depreciated 20%, just in 20% between November 2015 and October 2016, including a big fall between June and July 2016 of 6.5% following the referendum result, the Brexit result. In April 2022, the sterling exchange rate index is 23% below it's January 2007 peak level. Here's the question, an eight mark question for you. Examine the possible effects of a depreciation of the exchange rate on two UK macroeconomic indicators. So for an eight marker, by the way, this is for Edexcel board, uh, you need to get two marks for knowledge, two marks for application, two marks for analysis, and two marks for evaluation. It's really a question of just picking those off as you go. Okay, so here's a, an answer I just typed up for you. It's not perfect, but I think it does the job. First KA point, the 6.5% fall in sterling. There's the application got we've got there. Might have caused an increase in cost push inflationary pressure. This is because a weaker pound, the pound falls, that increases import prices. So import costs for manufacturers such as steel producers will have gone up. Got two bits of application in there and analysis that a fall in the exchange rate causes a rise in input price inflation. However, evaluation, this depends on the extent to which UK firms are dependent on imports and also whether they can source their inputs from domestic suppliers at a cheaper price. So if you're a cement, manuf uh, cement manufacturer, for example, can you import your, uh, your cement inputs uh, more cheaply? Uh, so, uh, can you source them sorry, from domestic firms? Uh, with an eight mark question, you don't need long evaluation. You don't have time. A sentence of evaluation is absolutely fine if you do a couple of them. My second KEA point, a second effect of a currency depreciation, just, it just structures the answer quite nicely, is to stimulate exports and an improved trade balance. If sterling falls 23% against the euro, then firms such as a book producer, but if such as seasoning there, such as a book producer, might be able to sell products at a lower price in European markets and make a higher profit margin. So there's that point to just saying a fall in the currency could improve exports and improve that trade balance. However, other factors might be making it harder to export products. So although, although the pound is falling, making you more price competitive, there might be some offsetting factors. And I developed the point since the UK left the EU Single Market and Customs Union in 2020, showcasing your knowledge to the examiner there. Many UK firms have complained of increasing paperwork and uh, customs delays, which have increased their costs, putting them at a competitive disadvantage despite a weaker exchange rate. I think with the uh, eight marker here, no need for a diagram, no need for lengthy writing. You could actually write two KA points and just a, a one developed evaluation. I've just gone for two. Because uh, I think I could I could get this question out really well in sort of eight to ten minutes, and don't forget mark a minute on the daily response is absolutely fine. So that will be my answer to this eight marker. No need for a diagram. Use the application. Nice bit of such as seasoning, and you'll be uh, you'll be in good shape. As always, thanks for joining me. Take care. Stay positive. Stay happy, and see you soon.